Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Oz, Jack and Letty still in Lake Jackson because we're separating for the COVID stuff. So we're trying to keep everybody nice and safe. So this one's coming from my little shitty kitchen apartment. Ha. So <laughs> this is part two of our acorn squash stuff. The other one was nice and savory. If you like that one, man, we can put a link down in the doobly-doo for that. If not, here's for the sweet one, right? This is a maple brown sugar one. This is going to be great. Before we do, be sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the little bell, do all that kind of stuff. Remember, we have our apron and all our other accoutrement down in our merch shop. Link will be down in the doobly-doo. And let's just get into it. So this is going to be relatively easy. Uh, I'm going to use four squash. Uh, you can usually just one. You got to cut it in half. Uh, brown sugar. You're going to need about uh, two tablespoons per each acorn. You're going to need some butter. Uh, a little bit of salt for if you're using unsalted butter. I'm not, so you're just going to need a little bit. And then uh, maple syrup. And you're going to need just a little bit of that. Now, uh, wash these. Get the stickers off of them. Uh, I've also heard that you can microwave them for a minute or a minute and a half to make them easier to cut. Uh, get this super sharp knife like I got from Andy. Thanks again, Andy. Uh, <laughs> and go ahead and cut them in half. Get you a spoon and scrape out the guts. Uh, that's just going to be the seeds and that membrane which i guess is the sexiest term you can come up with for a bit of food that looks gross uh, <laughs> just go ahead and scrape that out and put it all to the side again there's probably something to do with it but i don't know so uh get you a sharp usually a paring knife would work but i don't have any sharp knives so be careful especially if you're doing this in your hand because i'm an idiot just go ahead and take and do three or four slices across here uh, this is going to help it absorb the stuff when you're cooking it or whatever so uh that's what i've been told it's just cool looks like pinhead's head so uh just the line work <laughs> just do that just do this for your whole set of uh, acorn squash you want to do if it's just one or if it's a whole bunch of them so uh now you want to take a tablespoon just to each one of these halves all right i just use my fingers my hands because i i've tried it with a uh, butter knife and it just wasn't getting all the crevices so just go ahead and mush this around um it would probably work better if your butter was a little warmer than mine was <laughs> be sure to wash your hands i definitely did before you do all that but uh yeah get that all rubbed around get that butter sitting on it now you're just going to add brown sugar and cinnamon or brown sugar and uh, maple syrup sorry so you're going to want a uh, one tablespoon of brown sugar per half all right so that's two per a acorn so you just go ahead and put that one in there and then you're uh Maple syrup, you just want one teaspoon of it in there. Go ahead and just ladle that over the top of it, get that brown sugar. We're going to be spooning it as it cooks, so don't worry about it too much if it doesn't sit up on the sides. Uh, preheat your oven to 400, right? And then get it in a nonstick dish. Now, you don't have to worry about it sticking to the bottom or anything. Uh, there's going to be a little bit, uh, 400, sorry, because uh, <laughs> uh, it's going to be a little overspill, but it's not going to be enough to worry about. You can foil it if you want, but I'm, I'm broke and I can't afford foil at the moment. So <laughs> after about uh, 20 minutes, I went ahead and uh, pulled these out and from 15 to 20, it's going to be oh, a little soft, but not soft enough to where you can poke a fork into it. Uh, so go ahead and... Uh, get you a, a fork and test to see how tender it is and if it's not tender just put it back in there okay uh my original recipe said 15 minutes i checked this every 15 minutes it took me 45 to get it where it was tender enough to where i would suggest it would be eaten and it wasn't browning or anything like the pictures that i was seeing in the recipe stuff be sure when you bring these out to check them every 10 to 15 minutes uh get you a spoon kind of ladle that stuff up on the sides uh, it's going to start looking more and more cooked. Like I said, this is starting to look gorgeous, right? And it smells outstanding. You know, the maple syrup and the brown sugar is really good. But you can see it's been in there right at 35 minutes, and that fork will not penetrate that stuff. Now, you can see here, this is after 45 minutes. My fork goes ahead and just punctures right through it. So that is done. That is super simple. Now, everybody was asking about acorn squash. Uh, this is a sweet recipe. Uh, I didn't try it because I was already full of the savory stuff we did in the last video. Quick shout out to me from last, the last episode. But this smelled outstanding. They said they enjoyed it. The, you know, my patrons and everybody that got some of this said this was great. It was outstanding. Uh, I would suggest you try it. This was more than enough for uh, one per each person as a neat side dish or something to put along and do a full meal if you want to just do one because there's a lot of sugar in into it so uh yeah try this and there you have it it's a sweet maple syrup brown sugar version of acorn squash it smells great uh remember you can't really uh overcook it it just gets more tender the more caramelization is better you don't want to burn it but you don't definitely want to undercook it so be sure to check that if you do it differently man you want to let us know or you want us to try it put it down in the comments let us know or you can also find us on social media 
You can find us at Facebook, Patreon, Pinterest. Uh, I live in between Paychecks Kitchen and all those. Shout out to our patrons. Thank you very much. And uh, also on Instagram at Living Between. And I'll see you next time.